Hi everybody, it's D Halleck, um, D Halleck X7 from Connect, obviously. I wanted to show you something that I just thought of last night watching an episode of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives where they were at a Korean fusion truck and they were serving uh, chicken banh mi sandwiches, even though it's a Vietnamese dish. It's a Vietnamese chicken sandwich with pickled vegetables, cucumbers, cilantro, um, dressing. It's really tasty, very fresh, and very light, and it's delicious. Um, but I was wondering, I wonder if we can imitate the texture and flavor of the Asian steamed uh, white bun with two ingredient dough and it turns out you can it's it's pretty good and it's pretty simple and easy to do so doing it this way um, we can actually get the bon mi down um, to two points each so sandwich really really good two points per good taco sized one and I will show you the finished product and all that stuff but I'm eliminating a lot of steps right now and had to do some pre-cooking because Connect won't let you have a video that is more than 15 minutes long and so I'm trying to eliminate as much time as possible so I pre-cooked the chicken got um, some of the um, steamed bread done already but uh, pretty much the process for the bread is the exact same as regular two ingredient dough. You're going to mix up in a batch of equal parts, one cup of self-rising flour, one cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, but we're also going to add an additional teaspoon of baking powder into the flour. So the one cup self-rising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder added in, mix it up into the one cup ball just like normal. For you new folks who don't know what two ingredient dough is, go to YouTube and type how to make two ingredient dough Weight Watchers and a bunch of videos will pop up. Um, we're going to roll it out into a one cup ball and just like normal cut it into four sections and then we will take that quarter cup ball and slice it so that we will end up with eight uh, small dough balls. And each one of those we're going to roll out to the size, a good size tortilla, just like you'd make with tacos and stuff. And there is one piece of specialized equipment you will need for this, and it's a either a steamer basket or um, like I had with my pots and pans. You guys have probably seen these. You know, you see them on cooking shows and stuff. These insert into your regular part. You put your pasta in, your hot water, whatever, and then you strain it. Well, these can be used as steamers also. What I did was I just put some tin foil on the bottom, and that way you can do two at once. But that's for later. What we're going to do now is roll this one section that's the eighth cup, eighth of a cup, pretty much, into as big as we can get it because it's going to puff up because of the self-rising flour and also the extra baking powder. This little thing is going to puff up into this. It's pretty much like a big palm-sized steamed naan bread very soft, very pliable, very chewy. You're just going to want to eat a stack of these. Um, that's the finished product. We'll get to that later. So, if you want to roll these out, put one in the top, stretch it out a little bit. And you can see right now, it doesn't look super huge in there. And then we'll take the second one, roll that one out. Bear with me. We have a lot to get through in less than 15 minutes. That's the goal. Right, so that's spread out 
pretty good. I'm going to put this down at the bottom, the big one. Press it around a little bit more. Put this one on top. So now we're going to be doing two at the same time. And we have a pot with boiling water down at the bottom because this is going to be steamy. So we are going to put this in, boiling water, for 14 minutes. 14 minutes. It's going to be steaming. It's going to be awesome. So, not bad. Now, to show you the size difference here, if you do the eight cup sections, you get two points. You know, a good palm-sized stove bowl. If instead you just do the quarters that are three points, you get this. So you can have two banh mi's that are like you know, fluffy tacos for four points, or you can have a big boy for three. So, your choice. Now, the next important thing with the banh mi are the fillings. Um, typically, they are pickled radishes, carrots, onions, uh, sliced fresh cucumber, a bunch of cilantro. Now, it sounds intimidating, but uh, it's a quick pickling. You're not really cooking or anything. It's pretty simple. Pretty much, um, just get a container and pour in regular, cheap, white vinegar. You know, this isn't the full-on authentic, your Vietnamese grandma's making it for you, where you're using rice wine vinegar and miso and all this other stuff. This is very quick, simple, um, low point. That's what we're going for. And, you know, it, it's good. That's all that matters. I don't care if it's 100% authentic. I don't want to feel like I'm being deprived on Weight Watchers. And I also don't want the recipes to be so extensive and intimidating with all these crazy ingredients that, you know, a sweet little old lady in Tennessee or Kentucky or anywhere would feel intimidated making these. A lot of this is stuff that you have in your cupboards, except for that steamer thing you maybe not. But pretty much um, the vegetables we're using for this, we are thin slicing, just thin slice some cucumbers. And these aren't going to be pickled, these are just thin sliced. And then we are going to thinly slice. Um, typically it's radish, but I got jicama because Radish has no use in my house other than this one dish, and then I'm not going to eat it, so I got jicama, though typically you would use radish. So I bought also a bag of shredded carrots to save time. So shredded carrots mixed with some thinly sliced, uh, typically radishes, but I'm using jicama. And then I like, just for color, a red onion. So some like pickled red onion, you see them on tacos all the time and stuff. But you slice those up thin and put them in a container and then just pour a regular distilled white vinegar on top to cover them and put it in the fridge for like an hour. The longer the better. Um, the longer the better. But you can do it at like an hour, hour and a half. You got your quick pickled vegetables, take them out of the container, pat them dry, otherwise you get like a bunch of vinegar in your taco, not good. So we have the red onions, uh, thinly sliced, it's supposed to be radish, I used jicama, and shredded carrots, thin sliced cucumber, and then just a bunch of chopped up cilantro. That's it. And then, already pre-cooked is some chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. No particular rhyme or reason to how you cook them. I mean, season it however you want. I did just salt and pepper and a little garlic powder and onion powder. And then you're just going to chop them up because it's going to go essentially into a fluffy taco because we're doing the steamed thing. We're not using like a big baguette, which would be typical. You would use a baguette, but we're not doing that. So 
we're just chopping this up. And this will be enough chicken for two. So, grab some chopped up chicken here, put it back in, and as soon as those come out, it's gonna get dressed. And then also made two sauces. This is a zero point sauce. I will put the recipe and all of that when I get around to it, sorry, uh, down in the post. So comment in this post if you would like the recipe. Um, this is a zero point, everything barely to the measurement to keep it at zero, mix of uh, ground ginger, soy sauce, I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head, uh, ginger, soy sauce, garlic, lime juice, um, ma uh, sugar free maple syrup, not typical, but we need a little sweetness, and so I'm trying to keep it at zero, and a eighth of a teaspoon of honey, just a couple drops, and then a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of granulated white sugar just to keep it at zero. So that's the one sauce that's going to go over the chicken. And then also we have this second sauce, which is a mix of plain fat-free yogurt and sriracha and lime juice. And that's going to be drizzled on top also. So now, Thanks to the magic of movie making, we will be right back. Okay, um, fast forward. We are going to build the sandwich. We're using the larger three-point um, piece of bread that was steamed and is tasty and fluffy, just because it's easier to show. So, first things first, we are going to, eh, I'm gonna lay down some of the uh, pickled radish, jicama and carrot, some of the julienned chicken, a little bit of the pickled red onion, and we will next put on some of the uh, zero point uh, soy sauce. And then some of the uh, yogurt and sriracha mixture. A little bit more of the carrot radish. A bunch of cilantro. And then three of the thinly sliced cucumbers. A little bit more cilantro. And there you go. So is it authentic? No. Would you get it exactly like this in a Vietnamese restaurant? But can you have this on Weight Watchers and it's a good representation of the real dish for, in this case, the larger one, three points? Yes. So this has the grilled chicken, a uh, sweet soy sauce, um, sriracha, creamy sauce. We have pickled carrots, jicama or radish, pickled red onions, fresh cucumber, a bunch of cilantro, and steamed white two ingredient dough. And this is good stuff. So this is a three point banh mi that you can have. You could do the same thing with the smaller um, steamed piece of bread and then they're only about two points each and awesomeness. So the regular ones that you'll get in the restaurant they're covered in mayonnaise, they have you know a lot of them are grilled pork so a lot more points and so give the recipe a try you'll like it and um, I'll get it typed out as soon as I can and thanks a lot guys hope you enjoy it and you know if anybody needs any help with anything or have an idea for a recipe that you're struggling with you miss on the program just let me know and i'll try to do it for you